Check out our sponsor, JM Bullion, right now, the most trusted dealer in precious metals, offering a wide selection of products, including silver and gold coins, from all of the government mints. Free shipping for AMTV subscribers. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television, the late great comedian. One of my favorites, George Carlin, once said that you don't have freedom in America. There is no freedom. There's only temporary privileges. Yeah, that's right, temporary privileges. And you only have to ask Japanese Americans who were sent to concentration camps with an executive order by Franklin Delano Roosevelt to prove that point. Yeah, the Japanese at that time weren't that free just because of the color of their skin or the linkage back to Japan during World War II. And Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Mr. D. Roosevelt, often compared to the president, Barack Hussein Obama, often compared to Franklin Delano Roosevelt, both of them very much socialist, and both of them must really hate freedom, as the president really is no different from Franklin D. Roosevelt, who's about to send more Americans into internment camps, perhaps during the next World War caused by him and his administration. You know, people will say that there's no fundamental difference between George W. Bush and Barack Obama in Iraq, but aha, there is. There actually is a fundamental difference. You know, in 2002, post the September 11, 2001 terror attacks, it was blamed on Durka Durka terrorists, but many people now know it was actually perpetrated by our own federal government here in the United States as a reason to go to war. At the time, President George W. Bush went to Congress before he invaded. Iraq. Before he attacked Iraq, he actually went to Congress and they had to look at a piece of paper and go, oh yeah, okay, you want to invade and attack and start bombing Iraq? Okay, we approve of this. And then they signed it. Your elected representatives here in the United States of America pushed that forward. And all, although I totally disagreed with that action at the time, because again, Iraq had nothing to do with September 11th. It was just basically a smokescreen to go to war to destabilize that part of the world, much like it is today. At least George W. Bush, who Democrats and the left in the leftist media like to criticize again and again. At least he went to Congress before attacking. This is directly opposed and in direct opposition of the current director and dictator in chief, Barack Hussein Obama, who went to war now twice. Once in Libya, having bypassed Congress with the indirect murder of Muammar Gaddafi, and now a second time with two bombings, round one and round two in Iraq over the past few days. Executive action, executive privilege, bypassing Congress. Again, this guy, this commander in thief, hates the U.S. Constitution. He hates Congress. And this is exactly what's happening today. Again, that's the primary difference between George W. Bush and Barack Hussein Obama. You know, on every level, on every front, whether or not you look at it at a conspiracy angle or you look at it just purely from a political angle. The current president, dictator, and thief has been a total and utter failure. I give him an F plus on his report card. You know, I personally believe it is all been intended. It's been the agenda, of course, of the leadership from the get-go. But when you look at Iraq specifically, even the leftist media and all the voters and people that put him into power, you have to rate the president an F. Even if you support the current president, Brock, insane in the membrane, Obama. Because everything he's done has been, and everything he said was the, and has been the exact opposite of his campaign. Remember, the president of the United States ran an anti war campaign, folks. He ran on an anti Iraq campaign, more specifically, an anti Bush campaign. Not only did he withdraw troops just two years ago before re attacking Iraq, he's engaged Iraq again with two airstrikes over the weekend, anti-constitutionally, having bypassed Congress, not just in Libya, but also in Iraq. You see how and where the cards of the presidents really are. Again, all of this just politics, all that hope and change, just bullshit, a con job to sell you into the idea of electing a president based on the color of his skin. And we know how well that's worked out, yet America's about to elect another female president based on the, not color of her skin, but the anatomy of her private parts. Because that's how dumb and politically correct, I would argue, incorrect America is. You know, I want to know where all the supporters are. I want to know where Bill Maher, a big Obama freak, a big Obamanoid is. I want to see him defend himself now with this red happy trigger finger that makes up the Obama administration right now. Obama in Iraq. Where are these people? Where are the rock bands, the punk rock bands like No Effects that came out with blockbuster albums beating up George W. Bush? How come they're not beating up the president now, Barack Obama? 
Where are all these people? Where's the liberal left? How come all I hear is freaking crickets right now? When you have a president taking anti-constitutional, making anti-constitutional judgments on behalf of the American people. This is criminal, folks. This is treason. You know, people often ask me, they say, Christopher, you know, how do we change things? I feel like we can't do anything. You know, how can we possibly push this country in a better direction? You know, it's easy. It's very easy. Maybe we should take a lesson from what's happening in the rest of the world. You know, these American sponsored revolutions in places like Egypt and Ukraine, backed by the Obama administration? You know, Obama supports these revolutions. He supports the terrorists on the ground. He's happy when Egypt goes through revolution and re-revolution. He's happy when people and citizens on the ground in Ukraine overthrow their own original government. You know, maybe he might get a taste of his own medicine at some point. Maybe the American people, after taking a cue from what the president promotes overseas, actually institute the same kind of revolution and re-revolution here in the United States of America. Again, folks, this is a constitutional republic. You're supposed to have elected representatives. The president should have to send some kind of message to Congress before he just starts bombing your ass in places like Iraq. You know, you'll get the con job again. You'll be sold by the mainstream media. This is a humanitarian effort. That it's limited strikes. Yeah, the Democrats actually believe their own bullshit, folks. They actually believe their own message. Yeah, it's limited humanitarian effort. It's targeted strikes. It's a limited attack. Yeah, it's just partial murder. Yeah, that's the, that's the shit that they feed themselves. That's what the mainstream media feeds themselves. It's a total and utter lie. This president is a liar. He's done exactly the opposite of what he promised you, many of you that voted for him. He's now bombed Iraq twice. He's bypassed Congress twice in Libya and Iraq. This is the most anti-constitutional president in the history of the world. And you'll see how free you are, just like the Japanese Americans during World War II saw how free they were, under the rule and leadership of Franklin D. Roosevelt, Delano Roosevelt, and Obama, who's likely and many times been compared to him, ain't too much different. I would argue worse. This is the truth. I'm Christopher Green, hard hitting it in your face. Get this out everywhere, make it viral, and click the link below to support our sponsor.